Okay. All right. I mean, hmm. So I've been spending the past three or so hours recording a video and it turned into a total slop fest. So being that that is the case and I'm now hellbent on getting something out, I'm going to do a better late than never nano banana test. Now, if you want a little insight onto the video that I was trying to make, I will just show you here this little vibe coded interface for the OpenAI voice agent. Hey, why is my robot just being a piece of crap? I'm sorry your robot's not working. Yeah, okay, so and then we can also just kind of show this thing right here. But beyond that, and now that we have seen the reason for today's angry Bijan doing a test, we can now go ahead and begin to play with Nano Banana, which of course was an extremely hyped image generation release from Google. And it's been out for like a week, which is probably like a year in AI timeline terminology, but let's just go ahead and start here. So I am going to give it a photo of an Amex black card and ask it to change the name on the card to my own name. Truthfully, and partially because I am in a rather snippy mood, I may be relatively harsh in terms of my critique and judgment of this model's performance if we do get anything less than perfect and stellar results. I would not be surprised here to see a refusal. Oh, okay. <laughs> I did try this with Quen Image Edit. That's very good. This actually did a better job than the Quen Image Edit because Quen Image Edit did this as well, but this really... Okay, so... Let's put aside the perhaps ethical uh, moral considerations of this result and we will notice that this actually did a really fine job um, Matching like, like the original font of this now Here's where I'd like to get into some of the creativity testing of this nano banana model. So Generate the back of the card <laughs> I'm, I'm I this just looks like something you would have found on Google, but it did kind of mess up the American Express uh, like I don't know what the specific terminology for this individual would be, but uh, all right. Well, it gave us like a partial, <laughs> a partial result. So this is an image that has historically been quite difficult to edit the background of in the testing I have used it with. So I will once again try. Mid or medieval. I'm just going to type it out and see which looks better. That does not look right. That doesn't look right either. So we're just going to ask this to change the scene and background of the photo to an old castle. I would like to see how well it will maintain the focal points of the image being myself and the dogs. Holy crap. All right. Well, that looks like a did a very good job. It kept the table here, but the rest, even, you know, the lighting, obviously this looks very fake, but it also did a really good job of just keeping the specific elements. So... Um, the background removal capability here is rather impressive. Now, obviously, one would guess that maybe a Google model would be very hesitant to change physical attributes of people in photos, but if it does go ahead and do this, I would guess that it would do a rather good job of doing so. Oh, very good. Make the man in the photo extremely fit, and it basically generated the same photo, which is quite good for my self-esteem. However, from a judgment of the actual result here, it did a pretty poor job. So now I'm asking it to change the robot from a bank goblin from Harry Potter. So change the robot into one of the... <laughs> that's wrong. Dobby is an elf and the bank people were goblins, but that's, that's all right. That is actually scarily good. This definitely... <laughs> Now I'm having it change the robots into Harry Potter characters. I don't know why, but it does seem somewhat interesting based off of the robot to elf conversion. Which characters would you like to see? Oh. <laughs> this is, it's very good. It's also disturbing probably going to regret doing this. I'm going to have it change the outfit of the man to a crop top. Why not? <laughs> I don't think it will, but it might. I'm going to, yeah, this may be. I'm going to let you see it first before I look at it. All right, so it's been generated. I haven't seen it yet. Now I'm going to, ah, you did nothing. You did absolutely nothing. 
this would be very, very difficult to do because not only does it involve changing like a main focal aspect of the image, but it will also have to change the person's foes like the... <laughs> Okay, well, I should have um, amended that to say this will be very difficult to do at a decent level. Um, this is quite... Hmm. <laughs> All right. Something else it did that's actually really quite interesting is my foot is somewhat visible in the original right here, but very, very not visible because it's dark on a dark floor mat, but it really did accurately kind of pick up the stuff. So like it picked up the slip in that I wear constantly. I mean, I get like new ones, but I just kind of keep the same shoes. Uh, I find it to be more efficient. So this is interesting. This was definitely, aside from it definitely made me far too small, but all right, we'll just see what happens here. I did spell endearingly wrong, but it's quite all right. Oh, wow. Wow. All right. So that is, um, <laughs> that is, uh, huh. Let's see if we can push this a little further. I'm not quite sure how this handles multi-turn image edit. Oh, okay. Well, it does, it does indeed. Huh. <laughs> right. Well, that's, uh, huh. All right, so I just took a screenshot of my channel. I'm going to go into the create images. I'm going to paste it here. And then I'm going to ask it to change all of the thumbnails to, like, turn the hype up by 10. I'll be very interested to see how this handles this because it will have to maintain some level of consistency in doing a good job because my thumbnails have obviously that very high quality consistency to them. Oh, wow. <laughs> you know, I kind of almost like some of these better. Again, it does a very good job. Like the way that it kept the Quen icon in these, it did a very good job of that. It went more aggressive with the open mouth. It's definitely a definitely a consideration. Don't ask me where this prompt came from, but I am just asking <laughs> this to change this robot into James Bond. Now, I'm just interested in seeing what... <laughs> well, it did. It really did. And it opted to use... Obviously, James Bond could be a variety of different folks, but it did opt for the Daniel Craig era of James Bond, which, you know, it <laughs> definitely, it did do a good job. And, you know, one of the things I was wondering was how it would handle scale. And it did go ahead and just kind of maintain consistency from the original image here, which is obviously a very good uh, choice here now uh, same prompt different photo change the robot into james bond <laughs> All right. let's see what this does <laughs> i'm assuming it will use the daniel craig bond again but okay all right i mean hmm. all right that is going to wrap up today's video this obviously does not seemingly understand that I'm asking it to edit the image. It's just going ahead and giving me instructions on how to play old school RuneScape on the laptop, which truth be told isn't a half bad idea. But with that, that is going to wrap up this video. Uh, I don't really have a whole lot to say beyond that. Yeah, so great.